Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're talking about dividend stocks, and I've got two dividend stocks that just might be able to outperform the S&P 500 over the next five years. So let's jump into it and check out these two companies together. All right guys, so in this video, I'm gonna give you two stocks that I think can outperform the S&P 500 over the next five years. And we're gonna be talking about a wealth building strategy that's focused on solid businesses that offer both wealth building potential and peace of mind. All right, so S&P 500 has had historic performance, 10% average annualized return over the past 50 years. And that mirrors the average company's long-term earnings growth. So our objective in this video is to beat the broader market by investing in fairly priced stocks with above average earnings growth. So we're looking for companies that will beat the average S&P 500 stock. And really we're trying to balance growth and income because growth stocks are key to beating the market, but they often lack dividends. Now, if you're a subscriber to the channel, guys, you know I love growth stocks. Those are my favorite stocks. And that's why today, neither one of these stocks have I actually invested in, but they're hot on my radar. Um, because the challenge is finding stocks that offer both strong price appreciation and passive income. So if you like passive income, these stocks might just be for you because our solution is to focus on select dividend stocks that actually do offer some growth potential. Number one stock today is Starbucks, ticker SBUX. They just had a recent leadership change. New CEO, Brian Nickel. He was the former Chipotle CEO and he's credited with Chipotle's recent success. The market is hoping that Nickel can replicate his success at Starbucks. But Starbucks is more than its leader, it's a brand and it has a lot of strength in business. Despite their challenges in consumer spending, Starbucks remains a strong global brand. There's a lot of positive growth indicators. Global, compa global comparable sales have declined, but store openings, loyalty program growth continue. 33.8 million loyalty members, which is up 7%, year over year, and it's ranked, guys, as the highest restaurant brand globally. 15th most valuable brand in 2024. And it's come from financial performance. Their net profit margin is 11% over the last four quarters. Dividends, 60%, guys. 60% of their annual earnings are paid out in dividends. Current yield, 2.46%, which is the highest in years and all that comes with a great valuation p e ratio is 26 which is below the s p 500's average of 29 and there's a potential guys for the stock to double that's right the stock could double in price by 2029 with earnings growth so when we look at the future of starbucks nickel's potential impact he's expected to guide starbucks to a 15 percent annual earnings growth target so the stock has a lot of potential for significant value appreciation and attractive dividends. That's the first stock for you today, guys, is Starbucks. All right, fantastic brand, great dividends, and I think it's gonna grow over the next few years with this new leader. Let's talk about that second stock now, and that is Casey's General Stores, ticker C-A-S-Y. Now, I know General Store might turn some people off, but this company is a growth company. Look at their growth record. They have 2,600 plus stores nationwide. They're, they've had regular dividend payments since 1991 with a recent 15% increase. And they have a competitive advantage because, they, because of all the impulse purchases at their stores are driving high margin sales. And they're known for freshly prepared food especially pizza. This is insane, guys, but Casey's General Stores is actually technically the fifth largest pizza, pizza chain in the United States. Yeah, that's a crazy statistic. But look at their financial performance. 478% total return since 2014, which has outperformed the S&P 500. 
15% annualized earnings growth over the last decade. And recently, they've had 13% earnings growth just in the last year, and they have plans to add 350 new stores by 2026, focusing on food business expansion and efficiency improvements. All that comes with good valuation, same PE ratio as Starbucks, uh, forward PE ratio anyway, of 26, and they're expected to deliver annualized returns close to the earnings growth rate of 13%. So they have the potential to outpace the index with continued growth. So there you go, guys. Those are the two stocks that I brought you today. Starbucks, Casey's General Stores, both great stocks that balance high dividends with the potential to growth. So if you really love dividends, but you kind of want a stock that is going to grow in the future and not just stay where it's at, then these are perfect stocks because they're right in the middle. They're right in between a growth stock and a dividend stock. So Starbucks, Casey's General Stores, strong candidates for investors that are seeking a combination of dividend income and capital appreciation. Both stocks are positioned to potentially outperform the broader market due to their growth prospects and reasonable valuations. Guys, if you like this video, leave a big like on it, guys, and subscribe for more videos like this. Also, like I said at the beginning of the video, I haven't I haven't bought in on either one of these companies. I'm big on growth stocks, all right? If you wanna know what stocks I am buying, then subscribe to the channel because every single week I post a video on a stock that I am buying and um, tell you all about why I bought that stock. So subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment down below. If you have some Starbucks or if you have some Casey's General Stores, then leave a comment down below. Or if you're thinking about buying some, whatever your thoughts are guys, I love reading your comments and hearing what you have to say. Y'all have an awesome day and I'll see you again tomorrow with another video. Peace.